Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for today, Thursday, the 28th of May. I'm going to be following the Church of England's morning prayer service taken directly from their website. So if you'd like to follow it, you can have the service showing on your device or screen. Let's just spend a moment and collect our thoughts. Let's settle down to spend these moments listening to God. What would you like to say to him? What might he be saying to us? Let's just drop that busyness for a moment and have a here and now moment with him. Not perhaps because it's something we need to do, but it's because it's something we want to do. Let's go directly to our service. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us, and clothe us with the power from on high. Blessed are you, Creator God, to you be praise and glory for ever, as your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, bringing light and life to your creation. Pour out your Spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And so we go to Psalm 72. I'm going to be reading from verse 12. For he shall deliver the poor that cry out, the needy and those who have no helper. He shall have pity on the weak and poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence, and dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, unto him may be given gold from Sheba. May prayer be made for him continually, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, standing thick upon the hilltops. May it its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain grow like the grass of the field. May his name remain forever, and be established as long as the sun endures. May all nations be blessed in him, and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wonderful things. And blessed be his glorious name for ever. May all the earth be filled with glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And so for our reading for today, and it's taken from Luke chapter 8. And the verses are 26 to 39. I'm going to be using this to frame our prayers afterwards. They then arrived at the country of the Gerasenes, which is opposite Galilee. As he stepped out on land, a man of the city, who had demons, met him. For a long time he had worn no clothes, and he did not live in a house but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he fell down before him and shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? I beg you, do not torment me. For Jesus had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For many times it had seized him, he was kept under guard and bound with chains and shackles. 
but he would break the bonds and be driven by the demon into the wilds. Jesus then asked him, What is your name? He said, Legion, for many demons had entered him. They begged him not to order them to go back into the abyss. Now there on the hillside, a large herd of swine was feeding and the demons begged Jesus to let them enter these. So he gave them permission. Then the demons came out of the man and entered the swine and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and was drowned. When the swine herd saw what had happened, they ran off and told it in the city and in the country. Then people came out to see what had happened. When they came to Jesus, they found the man from whom the demons had gone sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Those who had seen it told them how the one who had been possessed by demons had been healed. Then all the people of the surrounding country of the Gerasenes asked Jesus to leave them, for they were seized with great fear. So he got into the boat and returned. The man from whom the demons had gone begged that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. So he went away, proclaiming throughout the city how much Jesus had done for him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 14 verses of a very interesting story about Jesus curing a demon-possessed man. It doesn't even touch the sides of what this narrative is about. And I see something new every time I read it or hear of it. So new every morning. So let us now pray. Let us first rejoice. Lord, we give thanks that you recognise in us what we need, even before we have spoken. You answer our call and listen to us when we are in the depths of despair. We thank you for being there for us, our rock in times of worry and anxiety. You offer us your love and fellowship and find ways for us to get to you, lighting our paths of darkness with a light that never fails. You offer us a living way of love and kindness, compassion and mercy and promise us a place with you by your side when our journey here is done. We give thanks for all you are, for all who are using their talents, all who are using their training and skills to heal the sick and search for vaccines and cures. We give thanks for all who are steadfastly serving us, the shop workers, post and delivery workers, warehouse and essential factory workers, our refuse collectors, our emergency services, our undertakers, mortuary staff, and all chaplains in our hospitals. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us repent. Lord, we are sorry we do not always recognise you and your ways of compassion. We repent of the times we have strayed into behaviour that hurts others, when we have been selfish, putting ourselves first. We are tempted into materialism and above mercy. Forgiveness and empathy leave us. 
we are sorry for the times when we are led into prejudice and judgmentalism and being scared of people and circumstances we do not understand. We repent of the times when it is our will that we seek rather than answering the call you have placed before us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us request. Lord of mercy, we humbly ask you will guide us to be your effective disciples in whatever place you ask us to be. We pray to not be afraid to tell others of your love and guide us in knowing how to support those who are ill in body, mind or spirit. Help us to fully see and appreciate the glorious creation you have given us and the wonderful people around us. Even when we feel downcast and weary, may we remain tuned in to you and to find glory in your way of being. We ask you to go to places where we cannot go, to be by the side of those dear to us, the seriously ill, the dying, the fearful, and those in tumultuous grief. We ask they may know your presence. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Collect for today. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen being made one in the power of the Spirit, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I wish you God's peace today and every day. Goodbye, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.